the evening, session by the Combat Sports Authority of New South Wales. Our three judges scoring this contest in Octagon side are Eric Cullen, David Lethemy, and Clement Turner. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Mark Goddard. This championship bout is brought to you by the Continental from the world of John Wick, a three-part event coming soon to Peacock. And now, for those in attendance and UFC fans watching around the world, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's go. Five rounds for the undisputed UFC. Oh, five the rounds to championship Let's go. of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A big martial artist, holding professional record. 27 wins, five losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Corona, California, USA. Presenting the number one right UFC middleweight contender in the world, the challenger, Sean Tarzan. I don't know why he's hitting himself now, but it's not going out later on. <laughs> now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a freestyle fighter. Let's go easy. Record, 24 wins, two losses. He stands. Six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Auckland, New Zealand, by way of Lagos, Nigeria, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC middleweight champion of the world, Israel Here we go. Let's go. Yeah, to yourself protected. When I tell you to stop, you stop. If you want to touch it now, God bless. Oh, come on. Adesanya couldn't back away fast enough. No glove touch between go. these yeah. two middleweight contemporaries. Israel Adesanya, the minus 675 betting favorite at close. That's the best as you one in 25. Can we lose? There on DraftKings Sportsbook. <laughs> Or they would only win 32. <laughs> They'd only win 32. So Adesanya must be the favorite. Of course. He's the champion. Okay, feeling out the ranges. Mm -hmm. Oh, caught that leg though. Adesanya's long. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. Yep. I'm two seconds ahead. Repeatedly yeah. acknowledged to us how difficult yeah. he thought the first ten minutes of this fight could be. Three, two, two, two. And this is where Sean's gonna try to be all fight, all night long. Try to be right in the grill of Adesanya. He does reach with his hands to try to find his distance. I need myself. And then he tries to go. The one thing Strickland will not do is tire. But Edison will constantly give him this. faking each other fakes out. And fakes to try to back him up. Still to it. Inside leg kick for Strickland, not much on it. Sometimes the heavy faint game of Izzy isn't always entirely appreciated when he does it for long stanzas, but facing a guy like that can be exhausting because you're, you're just constantly so reacting. Edge. Yeah, you're you're edge so unedged. Exactly. And you can see Sean already, I mean, his defensive structures are, are so unique to the way that he fights. We saw him struggle with reacting to the feints in the Pereira fight, but I feel like he's learned a lot from that and is probably a better fighter coming into this fight because of it. Just like with everything else in his life, the downs have allowed for him to rebuild 
and be better for it. And he's going to try to use what happened against Fajeda to benefit him in this fight with Adesanya. One thing he cannot do is he cannot reach for the punches of Izzy. That is what ultimately got him caught by Alex Pereira. Strickland just out of range with that right hand. Two minutes gone by round one. One of the things that Izzy does so well right here, the way that he physically controls the air between he and his opponent. Whoever is hand fighting and has the high hand is winning in that moment, and he's preventing Sean from being able to use the jab, which is one of his best weapons. Eric Nixick, Danny Davis, chiefing the corner of Sean Strickland. Izzy's just constantly making reads. You wonder if Izzy is going to start popping that jab to the body, trying to bring the hands of Strickland down a little bit. Right now, Strickland's being very disciplined with his hands, trying to keep him up to make sure that he's not taking much round, like, first round. damaging shots. Like right there, you can look that one. Oh, oh, such a unique see, way bro. He's not having a... The way that he has sort of okay. like this modified <laughs> shoulder roll Philly shell. But when you fight in a Philly shell, normally you're very, very bladed, whereas Sean is extremely square. And it does at times present the opposite side of his face to where he's parrying. The kicks. Yeah. The kicks also. That's usually how you could take advantage of Strickland. Because he's fighting in that position Damn. or a there Philly shell type of fighter, the kicks are what normally will land for you. Just like Cannoneer. Yes. Very much took advantage of that. There you go. The champion measured early on. And then connection for Strickland. Adesanya counters with a jab. Okay. You gotta be careful when Izzy starts playing possum. He's chasing exactly though, he with his hand out. Yeah. Like, which one of these? He just shelled up. Yeah, but not much is Izzy doesn't have right? to chase though, he's the champ. If he's to play possum, if Strickland can just get active, he might win the round. Quick, it can end. Holy! Whoa! That was crazy. That had my jaw on the floor. Good job, bro. My heart sank. Bro! Whoa! I'm trying to see it. Oh man, that scared you, huh, Izzy?
So a wild, wild end to round one has changed the complexion of this middleweight champion. Ah, strip him back in his face, bro. I need to connect something, bro. Make this nigga back off, like. You know? Yeah, he needs, oh, to, he needs to win off. this second round. I don't think Strickland got a single thing out of that. I mean, I don't think Adesanya got anything, like, off no. of this boy, like... No. I don't see... <laughs> bro, he knocked him out, bro! Yeah, he like, slapped him. He, he, bro, he, hit, he made this nigga do that spin move from the jerk. Sheesh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Let's go, Izzy. Let's go, Izzy. I ain't lost faith. Why is he exposing his chin with the hot knuckles? Yeah, that was crazy. Let's go, Izzy. He's in his face, bro. Go. Head strikes, bro. 27 oh, and 1, man. fam. Oh, man. That's not good. Well, he did get like 15 of them off. After he uh, hit him in the first round. But still, man, you yeah, guys need to put some work in there. Oh. Nice. He looks, he looks dead. Yeah, but Sean, Sean never fights like that. He will, even when he sees the finish coming, he's very measured in the way that he follows it. The Abus Magomedov fight, he didn't rush that whatsoever. He just allowed the finish to come to him. Please, I want to see him snoring. <laughs> Stiff his ass off, bro. that's as clean a right hand as we've seen Asanya absorb. For sure. Well, the story on Sean Strickland is that he doesn't have the most powerful hand. Is that the case? He doesn't have the most powerful hand? Level of power. Mm. He, he folded one. that nigga. Yeah, he did <laughs> land one. I love it. I Is he still in this sort of figuring out process as well? He's making reads, but he's having to deal with a lot of offense yeah. as he's making them. I just actually saw him get making it. Shut up, bro. Oh, my back, back in. Right in. Look at the like cheek, bro. Yeah, he's kind of fine, yeah. Strickland now. Like, he's settling oh. into the fight a little Ooh, bit. Oh, please get across that face. There we go. Before Adesanya starts to flow too much. Go to work, Izzy. Try me myself, bro. I'm not bad. I feel like I'm not doing fine, bro. <laughs> you showing? I'm hella out of shape. So. Every day I wake up saying I'm gonna change. You know? <laughs> I swear. Bro, Izzy needs to go to work right now. I gotta bro. stop staring at my mother. I swear. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> on myself, bro. I'm gonna get right one day. Oh, my, right, yeah. yeah. Come on, man. Shot, go to work, Izzy. Let's go. Yeah, he lives and breathes by that jab, and that allows him to operate in this really yes, close, Izzy. close distance, especially. Ooh. Big shot from Adesanya. Yeah, Adesanya's starting to get reads on it. Strickland's got to do something to try to change this. Okay, okay, okay. Significant strikes, 20 to 10. Okay. There we go. We talked about how he's lived in these moments. I like when he charges at him, bro. Whenever he walks him back, like, yeah, it's not good. And once again, he's showing how he sits on that stool, takes a minute, and resets. And now he's winning this round. I want one of these drop shots from the top that he be doing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Love when the nigga get a nigga high. <laughs> Come on, bro, you're literally 6'4". You got four inches on this nigga. And a belt. Sheesh. Ten minutes in the camp, potentially fifteen to go. Oh, bro, I'm breathing like I'm out there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, this shit so is intense, though. Like. Like that, okay? We gotta do some things to steal or seal these rounds. 
And then when I get about 90 seconds, I'm gonna give you a call. We gotta get a little grappling yes, exchanges in and make him least think about it. Yes, when you're throwing your jab, it's fucking landing. But you're getting snake charmed by this guy. You're watching him. You're watching him. Don't let him fucking watch. Let's go. That's how you knock this fucking dude out. Pieces. Pieces. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is just. This needs to go to work, man. It's one one, baby. Mix it up. Uh -huh. And you just fully woke up. Like, nigga, you, you were yeah. literally like, bro, nine tenth of the way from bedtime. Like, yeah. Come on, shop, shop, come on. You just drank a five-hour energy. Right. Right. Just give him some prime, man. Some come on. Yeah, I thought the term snake charm. Yeah. One, one, bitch. maybe. You baddie exactly bitch, just gave you the road, dome. Sort of <laughs> Finish out. Finish out. You know. Finish out. He, he needs to go to work road. this round, though. Finish out this road trip, kid, yeah? Huh? Find his fucking gym, huh? Come on. I just love that O'Malley said that go. shit and then like found his fucking sweet chin. Sweet chin music. O'Malley's good too. I love watching him. I, I, I love watching him. I really do. And I like that we cheat him too. He's just, a, he's just like so unorthodox. It's nice. It's nice watching watch him fight. Yeah. Sorry, Johnny. Skinny little fuck. He's just not throwing enough. Let's go, Lazy. Go to work. Come on. Clock in. Take a little more than that to take the belt off Adesanya. God. Strickland does a really good job of seeing the kicks and just kind of stepping back. Half an inch, making Izzy miss. He's so hard to hit clean. I mean, that's what Sean does so well. Is you can you can touch him, but you're not touching him with much because he's deflecting everything. With his hands and with his shoulders and with his posture. 32 is he? There are the numbers. You see the efficiency from Sean Strickland, but not much in terms of output in round two. Well, and Adesanya's accuracy, I mean, way down from what we've seen him again. I mean, Sean just so good at defensively forcing his opponents to, you know, miss. Well, just being on your heels the entire time is not fun. No. Never gives an opportunity too. to. Control the engagement. Let's go, Izzy. Go to work. Let's try that some beer bro. Like Izzy found his openings. Like start taking them, motherfucker. Right. Izzy? Yeah, he's super cool. Mm -hmm. The style then the uh, Benson oh, style there, Izzy. He needs to, man. Bring out the style. Not really much in sequence nor combination for Strickland. Trying to create an angle here. Toluca. Let the next one land. Strickland's defenses are on point right now. But it's got to be more offensive. Adesanya will win on activity if Strickland continues to just follow him without putting much activity out. Damn. Right hand landed for Izzy and that account right partially for Find that diaphragm, bro. Find that little sweet spot right behind yeah. him. Yeah. Mm, you know what I'm saying? The air out him. Isn't that crazy? Either the, in front of the ear or right behind the ear or both, like, sweet chin music. <laughs> he wants to land it with his foot, though. I'm already going. Oh, is he go to work? Mm -hmm. Swap one of these little combos away and make make his bitch ass. And it's around that each of them can win. Four sixteen for Sean Strickland. Sean Strickland is doing. Oh. Okay, we go. We go. We good. We good. We good. We good. Is he? So here's that 90 second mark. We'll see if Strickland, and you just heard the imperative from Eric Nixon. We'll see if we see some grappling out of Strickland late in the round. Oh, he backed off that one perfectly, bro. Strong mm. jab there from Strickland. Damn. 
Oh, 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 oh. Mm -hmm. Strickland taking advantage of some moments in the round. Playing a good left hook there. There you go. Yeah, this is a five rounder. Yeah. And you may have caught Eric Nixon mm. dropping that ball. Okay. Broken word optics. When a close round. Yep, he's on that word, right? In a very close round. That, like stuff like that. That jab. That was a good jab. Yeah. He said that's why he felt like he lost the Jared Cannonier fight. He outstruck Jared on the numbers, but he felt it was the optics. And the fact is that the scoring criteria does, to some extent, favor a power puncher. It's the big shots yes. that are going to get you the most points. But you can certainly argue the bigger shots yeah. in this third round. Or an elbow, bro, like a hug elbow. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? One of those where you back. lean in, like where your first punch is not really a punch but it goes on right, like his chest or behind his head and super you, elbow you know what i'm saying or you know what i'm saying like a super here. elbow hey, like to like the front a sexy red elbow yeah. Yeah. like a sexy hey, red elbow I, I just me go hey listen listen to me when he drops back or gets lateral on the cage hit him to the chest yeah, first man. hit him to the chest first and then reload that motherfucker hey we can beat Cock this sucker. you gotta go motherfucker that's crazy on national TV. That's crazy. Oh yeah, his whole crew is racist. <laughs> oh my goodness, UFC is so is so out of pocket today. We heard faggot, and then we. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they are definitely uh, pushing the line. Come on, Izzy. Let's go to work, bro. Let's throw up some of those scorecards from the <laughs> internet like we usually do so we can get an idea of what's going on because, man, it's a close fight. And if you think it's 2 1 Sean Strickland, that is not a bad read. Moment, no. it's like because he has some good shots in the second round. Ooh, Eric, bro, he needs Eric this Dixon. round. Come on. I'm so nervous, man. Eric what they score that one, you think? Eric don't Dixon be nervous, dude. Was I don't know. Saying we didn't come here to lose a board decision. Get after him. Get after him. Get after him. I don't know who won that round like either, though. Like, 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 yeah, maybe is he? 28 and 9, 28 Strickland. Like a lot of the scores no way. 2 1 Strickland will populate some of those for you now. Mm. Oh, oh there you go. Wow. Wow. Here you go to work, is he? Let's go. I didn't expect the majority of them. You know, usually it's, it, it's kind of everywhere. But if Strickland won that third round, he cannot have another round like round two. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He just didn't do much. <clears throat> he needs to start countering immediately off the kicks of Adesanya because there are moments where Israel's open as he's finishing the kick process. I think Izzy needs to kind of set on something a little bit. Agreed. He's moving a lot right now. I think Adesanya needs to put something on Strickland. That's what I've been fucking saying since the goddamn first round, bro. He operates in the pocket like yeah. he did against Robert Whitaker. Israel Adesanya can land power from strange angles when his body... Oh, shit. I don't know why they get so hard. Big left hook there. And now a right hand partially gets through. Adesanya's body language not great as he presses forward and lands a right hand. Good body kick by the champ. But I think we're all feeling the tension of this title fight here. Three yeah. to go round four. And like you said, Izzy was a minus 600 favorite. Massive number. That jab of Strickland, it must be very long because it gets to Adesanya even when Adesanya is leaning back. And that's a position that Izzy does and not many can really pull off. And look at those numbers in terms of the misses forced upstairs by Sean Strickland. Adesanya's missed over 100 Come on, bro, he's got his hand yeah. in his chest, bro. Can you put one little my head, I can't uh, breath and little huff together? Oh, oh, <clears throat> Didn't look like possum playing there. Hold his hand. Put your hand up. It just seems like when Sean lands, there's more to it than when Adesanya lands. 
Sean will be smart to mix it up, maybe go to the body once Izzy starts guarding up like that, showing up. Oh, nice oh, switch right hand there by the champ. Mm -hmm, that was Strickland stalks and lands a jab. Good body kick from Adesanya. But the champ just hasn't consistently found that throw stick, and Strickland deserves credit. That's what he does. He just makes guys uncomfortable, and he forces them to operate in a way that's outside of their natural style. He does it to almost everybody. You don't want to fight like this. I, I don't care how good a counter striker you are. Right? You don't want to be on your heels the entire time. Especially when a guy is pretty that's in a, a, a bit of a Philly show. It's tiring to fight off the back foot as well, especially, I mean, you think about the hours of training for Israel Adesanya. How many hours do you think he spent going backwards consistently for four, three rounds, you know, four rounds? You're a champ, bro. You I just know. knocked a dude that's literally named the Hand of Stanley. He needs to go to work. And that has allowed Sean Strickland to not only be in this fight, and this is his spot right here. This is where he knocked. This is where he is. And I know some fans have wondered aloud if eventually. Oh, come on. The breakneck schedule of Adesanya would one time Slow. catch up with him. You said he was a minus 600 favorite, John? Yeah, well, minus 675. Those live numbers don't look like that anymore. This, is, that a, much. this is a sport that will make fools of anyone. Yep. You can never think you know. Waiting seconds of round four. Strickland lands a jab. Now kicks the body. To the oh, this is probably going to go to decision. This is the longest round though, right? Five minutes? I mean, right oh. here you see... Is it more time? Or is it, st is it still three? Yeah. I thought so. Left hook yeah. that Must it. be. Edesanya's nose is bleeding. Maybe I'll go. My bro. memory's are off, so that's why I gotta start doing it first. We need to start going to the gym. Okay, let's go. Right hand here. Right hand, and then you pull it here. Okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's side. go! It's uh, oh. curly hair, like a boy looking dude. To decide the undisputed UFC middleweight championship. And if you would have told Sean Strickland he wouldn't have a scratch on him at the beginning of this fifth round, he would take that every day of the week. And I'm literally, I mean, I'm thinking about the fight. It could be two to two. It could be one to Five three. Five minutes. Three to one, no Damn, you're right. If it's three to one, Sean Strickland, so. and he's winning three rounds against Israel Adesanya. Nobody would ever expected that. Dude, there was some frustration and worry in the corner of Israel Adesanya. He said he can't find his jab. Eugene Behrman told him he's going to have to take some risk, but there is no risk in him throwing the right hand. Champ, I find he said he can't find his jab? Damn. You just never know, but I'm just saying. I'm just throwing all options out there. But I can't imagine this 3-1 to Adesanya. Nah. Honestly, I think it's 3-1 yeah, straight. What? Yeah. Why? Tan gets my respect. <laughs> Daniel Cormier, you push back. That's why you ain't never won shit. Looked like Adesanya was loading up and partially caught Strickland's arm. Let's go to he work, Izzy. Come on. When he reaches with his arms, it makes Izzy you need this one. his right hand miss because he hits him on the arm and the shoulders. The way that he hides behind his shoulder, the shoulder. I mean, it's. No one does it the way that Sean Strickland does it in MMA. It's a boxing thing, but you just don't see it that often in the sport that someone does it so effectively. And what I love is Sean is still pressuring. I mean, he he may believe he's up on the scorecards, but he's not going to fight any different. He's not going to play safe. He's got three and a half minutes around. to do something here. If he allows Izzy to start dictating to him, oh, he's going to get in trouble. Mm -hmm. He's got to continue to do what's allowed for him to get ahead in this fight. Well, 100 pay-per-views ago in Melbourne, Australia, Holly Holm turned in the biggest upset in UFC Women's Championship history. Might we be in store for more history 100 oh, pay-per-views later tonight? Man. Strickland with the right hand. 
I guess I'm just amazed that Strickland has found a way to make Edesanya play the mouse the entire time. He has. He has never allowed for him to play the cat. One of the things he's done really well is the way that he's hacky sacking against those calf kicks. That's been an issue for Sean in the past, and he's not allowing Izzy to have much success when he's attacking the calf. You know, we talk about Sean Strickland and some of the things that he went through in his life, right? And how he said that it helped him to become the man that he is. He got knocked out by Alex Ferreira. He went and trained with Alex Ferreira. So this is a man that, for no matter what you feel about him, he is always trying to improve himself. Yep. And he will humble Come himself on, to do that. Man. Takes a big ego check to be able to go learn from the person who, who knocked you out. And let us also acknowledge that he put his number four ranking on the line against an unranked Alex Pereira when no top five middleweight contender was willing to do that. Is he just landed a good right hand? And now Strickland landed a good jab there. Oh, Izzy's going to have to let it get a little dirty now. Yeah, it seems like Izzy understands yep. the urgency of the moment. Just over two minutes to go. Izzy's going to have to stand on the floor. Go, Izzy. Go to work. Go to work, What the fuck now. is wrong with him? I don't know. He needs to lock in. Hello, Eric Nixick asking for Sean Strickland to vary his targets. You know what's crazy is Sean Strickland, outside of those push kicks, hasn't thrown one kick. Oh, no. He's boxing the he entire has time. A jab and a two, and he's winning a championship fight with him. And there is that jab again, 90 seconds to go. Against one of the greatest strikers you ever seen inside the octagon. And there you take down a one time. Lands another jab and yeah, 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 yeah. 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 These are my moves. Attention. And it doesn't look like he's doing much, but look at how beat up Izzy so. is. Izzy's face is battered, man. I'll do something now, Izzy. Even look like he's breathing hard. Like right now. Izzy's bloody and he's swollen. <coughs> the champ is going to have to sit and throw, man. He's going to have to fire. We've seen Izzy. Sorry, John. Stepped right over you. I was going to say, we've seen Izzy in these tough spots before, though. The Calvin Gastelum fight. Brings back memories. The hell is he? Oh, good Come on, on Izzy. And once again, Adesanya oh. on the retreat. Oh my god. 30 seconds. <laughs> 30 seconds to go. Izzy, you gotta put in some damage, man. This is crazy. This was not how I expected this fight to play out. And now Strickland's talking to him. Holy cow. Strickland's flapping comes late. Final 10 seconds. Asanya lands a kick to the body. Holy shit. One of the biggest upsets in UFC championship history. I have no words. Sean did. Wow. Is heading back to the United States of America as the undisputed middleweight champion of the world. Sean Strickland just came to Australia and won. I cannot believe it. She beat him bad. Wow. I, I'm, my jaw is open right now. Sean Strickland is exactly I have who no he words. said he was. My goodness. Laura Sanko. I mean, I'm... I'm looking at, I'm, I'm literally, like, seriously, I love to talk, and I have no words, because that was a fantastic performance. Wow. Well, bet on mixed martial arts at your own peril. Perhaps one thesis statement. Let's take a look at some of the work Hold early on. Him, I mean, that bro. right hand from Hold Sean Strickland. Hold it, him, down Israel Adesanya. The follow-ups did a lot of damage. But it's the, the pattern, the one, two, no recoil. Sean Strickland all over Israel Adesanya in this exchange. Life. He did no damage, he man. Uh, zero. I don't know, man. He just wasn't, later on in the fight, the jab wasn't throwing it, I guess. I, mean, I, I don't know. Israel Adesanya certainly had his moments, but he was forced on the back foot the entire fight. And it's very difficult to counter strike or kick. And this right here, that is Sean Strickland know, in man. his element, That's weird. loving life, fighting 
like a man. Damn, bitch, shut up. He is not gonna fuck you. Right. He repeatedly stepped up for the company. Eating his, his dick. Shot. Somebody he checked the, the floor in the studio. God. Damn, it's relaxed. He literally didn't. <laughs> he wasn't talking shit at all till that last 20 seconds. Like, 